What's the difference between PoE, PoE+, and PoE++? PoE, which stands for Power Over Ethernet, is a technology that allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. It allows you to connect something like a security camera to a switch or NVR. It's also used for wireless access points and IP phones, and helps keep wiring costs low and cable management tidy. PoE allows you to power your standard camera using up to 15 watts of power. There's also PoE Plus. It provides up to 30 watts of power, which is good for entry-level PTZ cameras. If you're looking to power something larger, however, 30 watts isn't going to be enough. PoE Plus Plus significantly increases power delivery, giving you up to 60 watts of power for large devices such as high-performance PTZ cameras. To demonstrate how PoE works, We've got a PTZ camera here, and we're going to power it using both PoE Plus and PoE Plus Plus. Okay, so here we have our PoE injector, and this one's pretty neat because it actually has two outputs. This one gives out 30 watts, which is PoE Plus, and this one gives out 60 watts, which is PoE Plus Plus. So right now I have the PTZ hooked up to the uh, PoE Plus port, which is actually not enough for the full power because this PTZ needs 60 watts. So let's see what happens when we have it plugged in this way. So with 30 watts of power, we are able to see the PTZ on the network and we can log into the PTZ as well. So here's the PTZ camera. We can see the live view, but watch what happens when I try to move the view. So if I'm gonna go ahead and pan the PTZ around for a bit, it should eventually go offline. Okay, so I wasn't able to get it to crash with the uh, daylight mode, but I'm gonna turn on the infrared. So this is using more power and let's see what happens to the PTZ now. So now that it's in night mode and we have the infrareds on, if I try panning this around, there we go, it just crashed. So that's going to show you what happens if you try to run a PTZ with less power than it's designed for. You might be able to get it to work for a bit, but especially at nighttime, you might end up with the PTZ crashing and rebooting, and it's going to cause you a lot of headaches. So now I'm going to switch that connection around. We're going to give it PoE++ as it's designed for, and let's see what happens. So now the PTZ is going to have 60 watts. So as you can see, the PTZ is working now that we have PoE++ input. So hopefully that helps you understand the difference between PoE, PoE+, and PoE++. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.